start. Oh, 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 what? What was that? This is incredible. Press begin to start. So let's give that a go. Whoa! Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jared Majors. I'm a full-time filmmaker and I drop editing and filmmaking tutorials every single week. If you guys are interested in learning about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. This week I'm going to show you guys how to do the teleport transition effect that you've probably seen before in the Peter McKinnon vlog about a year ago. It's really easy to do and it looks really dope when you do it right. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to have a shot of you pretending like you're getting sucked through a portal. Just like that. The next shot, you're going to need an empty shot. So don't forget to take an empty shot because then if you do, you're going to have to reshoot this all over again and you do not want to do that because I did that three times. All right, so now that you have these shots on your timeline of you pretending like you're getting sucked through a portal and you have an empty shot, you're going to take the empty shot and you're going to drag that right above the other clip. So it should look like this now. It already looks pretty cool, but we need to do a couple more things. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to come to the top Make sure you have the top clip, the empty shot clicked. You're gonna to come to the beginning of that shot and you're gonna to come to the left side and you're gonna change the opacity from 100 to zero. And it's gonna create a keyframe right here. Then after you do that, you're gonna to come to the end of that. You're gonna come right here to where this clip ends, the first clip ends, and you're gonna change the opacity. Make sure you have the top clip selected and you're gonna change the opacity from zero back to 100. And what that's going to do is just going to make the fade out gradual. See? It's not going to be so abrupt. It's just going to go whoosh, just like that. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So now that you have these two shots connected where it looks like you're fading out, all you're going to need to do is grab the effect. I'm going to have the effect linked in the description below for you guys to download for free. If you guys appreciate me putting the effect in the description below, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. All right, so now that you guys have the effect on the timeline, make sure the effect is clicked. You're gonna come over to the left-hand side. You're gonna change the blend mode to subtract. So you're gonna click subtract, and there you go. Now the effect is reversed, and it's on the screen. But you can see the effect is too long for that transition. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you're gonna take the effect, Come up to the top, change the speed to about 600. And you're just gonna place that right on top and that should do it. And so right now this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's switch over to the next scene where we're gonna be teleporting into. So for this scene, I'm outside. I took an empty shot of this right here. I have this shot right here of me jumping into a scene so that what you're gonna want to do is you just want to like take a big leap and pretend like you're jumping out of the teleport so I'm gonna cut this scene right there I'm gonna drag this over to where the empty shot is let's open this up a little bit for you guys so let's drag this to right here I'm gonna drag this one down all right, so now it looks like this. But we still need to do the same thing to this clip that we did to the first one. Come to this clip right here, right where the uh, beginning of the second clip starts, you're gonna wanna hit the top where it's the empty scene and you're gonna wanna change this opacity. You're gonna come over to the left side, you're gonna change it. This time you're gonna go from 100 down to zero. Make sure the top clip is still selected. And so that just makes it look a little bit more smooth. See? All right, so let's play it back and see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Now all you're gonna wanna do is take the same effect. I'm gonna copy it. 
drag it over that second part. You're just going to want to drag it up, make sure it's lined up pretty smoothly. And this is what it should look like. All right, but for the second clip, I need to align this, the effect with my body. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to move it right on top of where I'm jumping out of. So now it should be a little bit more lined up. Let's see. Perfect. So what you're going to want to do to help sell this effect is you're going to want to add a whoosh sound. So go on Epidemic Sound or go on YouTube and download one from YouTube for free. Um, I got one right here. I'm going to add it to the timeline there. Let's open this up a little bit more. Come right over here. And I'm just going to add this underneath of where the effect happens. And then I'm going to drag it again. Uh, another one for the second part of the effect. So let's do that. I'm going to cut it up a little bit. I don't need it that long. And I'm going to just drag this over. And there you go. All right, guys. So now let's take a look at it. It's super easy to do. It looks really, really dope. And I definitely suggest you guys try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, make sure to go hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Shout out to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys next Tuesday.